Ken's been coming to the Y for several years now. I first met Ken uh, right after he had his stroke and I have seen him progress through the years from coming in with a walker and being assisted by his wife all the way to now I see him pull in driving his own car. I met Ken when I started here about seven years ago uh, and it was right after I started he came in and had an appointment to go through an orientation which is where you take them through the machines and I remember that I thought it was going to be a very basic orientation and we ended up spending over an hour going through machines. Hi, my name is Ken Weaver. I had my stroke in October 2011 and I was going to do physical therapy for like the first year or so, but I wanted to do something more in between therapy visits and we lived real close to the to the Y, so I came over here. So when Ken first came in, I knew I was having an orientation with him. I did not know what to expect. When he came in, his wife, him with a walker, and I were going through the machines. And I asked, oh, so you want to do the basic, like, introductory level to these weight machines, which is eight. And he said no, that he wanted to do all of them. And so we spent over an hour together doing 16 of the machines, and his wife and I helped him in and out of each one making all the adjustments, finding a weight that worked, and writing it down so he could continue to do it. Personally, I know I know how bad it was. Every, I mean, every struggle is different, right? So I've, over, I've overcome a lot, mainly mainly in my independence. I mean, I, could, I couldn't even go for a walk by myself before. Now I, now I do, I can come here by myself. It's been amazing to watch his progression uh, over the years and he's always been very positive. He always was ready to go and ready to work out and ready to rehab and he wasn't letting uh, what happened to him get in the way. He does a lot of chores at home, which is still exercise. That's still therapy for him. He's always saying that, I, if I can do it, I wanna do it even though it's gonna take me longer. My experience in working with Ken has taught me many things that I did not expect. It taught me that sometimes the best teachers are the ones that come to you to be taught at first. It has taught me that setbacks are sometimes not mountains, and even if they are mountains, that doesn't mean that they're impassable. So he's taught me really the importance of what your hard work and your time can be spent towards. Mine, like I said before, just being around so many people that have said something positive to me and motivates me to, to keep going. I would tell her every night what I heard at the Y, what someone just said to me. It made me feel good. And that's what the Y is about. Um, we're here to provide a safe, uh, positive environment so that folks that have adversity in their life um, and have these obstacles and started maybe a different chapter in their journey that may not be as positive as they hope, we have a place that they can do it and, and feel supported. Congratulations, Ken, for all of your hard work. Thank you so much for letting me be part of your journey. Thank you so much for letting me be able to watch your progress and appreciate the friendship that you've given me and looking forward to seeing that golf game. I'm proud of everything I've accomplished. And I, like I said, I said to Carrie, I'm proud to receive this award. It means a lot to me.